Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land Plays The Binding of Isaac. I'm very excited to be on a random run. Uh, oh, I'm so lucky. This is the seed that we just played on the NLSS like literally four hours ago. So I'm gonna start again as Isaac. No Curse of the Labyrinth. No Curse of the Labyrinth. Our item room is still somewhat disconcertingly right there. Okay, you know what? I'm doing this one for you guys. Mom's knife in the first item room. Ain't nobody got time for that. If you earn mom's knife, and you know, earn is a very strong word. If you find mom's knife in like your deal with the devil room or something like that, at least you earned that deal with the devil, and there's something that you can offer in your own defense. Well, that's bad damage, but it doesn't really matter on this floor. You can say, hey, yeah, mom's knife makes the game easier, but I had to work for that deal with the devil, gosh darn it, and I deserve this, and this is something that's good for me, and yada yada. In our situation, picking up mom's knife on literally the first room that we walked into, well, comedic would also, you know, that work, the the semblance of work has at least vanished. New rule, by the way, you always fight famine first. I wish that, you know, it were not true because a first level cube of meat is not always the most important upgrade in the entire game. I think if you took it, um, you know, down to brass tacks, a cube of meat is a sub-average, a below-average, and I know you know what sub means, but nobody says, you know, sub-average, they all say below-average. Um, boss room drop. It's okay, but the only reason it's okay is because there's jack s you can do about it. If we could re-roll it, I would posit that the, the cube of meat is something that would be re-rolled almost every time. Maybe not every time, but almost every time. I think it would be like in the same vein as maybe something like, I don't know, pageant boy. But, we've trained ourselves to, to enjoy cube of meat and to say that, hey, second level cube of meat, that's not two boss room items wasted. That's an upgrade for us. Um, whereas if you get like Ghost Baby, you'd be like, oh, it's okay. This feels like a great compromise. You know, this is like somebody saying, it's George Washington, right? Takes over the, well, not takes over, but wins the American Revolution. And then the people say, George, George, become our king. That's the mom's knife. And then George Washington says, you guys effing serious? The reason we had this revolution is to depose monarchy, yada, yada. And they're like, okay, well, become like our democratically elected president. And he's like, all right. Polyphemus is us becoming the president because we abdicated and uh, abolished the throne of the king. I'm, it's super powerful for us, don't get me wrong, but we didn't take Mom's Knife right off the bat. There are going to be some people out there who say, well, Polyphemus is, you know, more powerful than Mom's Knife. Give me some of what you're on, man. I would much, if I could only choose one item, it was like life and death. You can only have one item in the game. I probably would take Epic Fetus in this case, but if I only had to choose between Mom's Knife and Polyphemus, I would be taking... Mom's knife to the freaking grave one way or the other. Die, please. Thank you. So we're really hoping for a deal with the devil here. Because Polyphemus synergizes super well with a lot of other, uh, you know, deal with the devil Lee type items. Which I'm super stoked about because I would love to pick up Mark Pact, etc, etc. Anything along those lines. Maybe to increase our rate of fire in particular. No poop. Don't come back, poop. We don't want you here. This should do it. That went perfectly. Wow! To pick up the pentagram is actually freaking amazing, and then we'll see what we've got going on inside of our deal with the devil room. Yes, brimstone would be fun, but we've had it the past, you know, well, some of the past runs. Uh, yeah, one heart pact is a super good deal. Raises our rate of fire, gives us some spirit arts to protect us in the future, and, you know, we're building something pretty amazing here, especially considering that we just got the, uh, the pentagram as well. Our damage is going to be out of control. So, it's an exceptionally good start. As much as I would love to say, wow, you know, we've got a hard road ahead of us. I hope we're going to be able to pull ahead, pull out of it. It's not one, but it's certainly above average for where we are right now. Which means it would take something, you know, a series of exceptionally below average events. Which is not as good of a name as a series of unfortunate events. They probably didn't, uh, the publisher was not too fond of that one. But uh, this is fine. I'm happy with it. That's all that needs to be said. I really thought we'd be able to bomb our way into our item room. But I can't feel too bad about uh, this, especially considering I'm about to get a free key right now. And I will put a bomb down there, and there's a way that we could do it and maybe find the second secret room in the process, I think. Please work. We're gonna get another reroll here, which is great in case we get Shoop the Whoop, or in case what's in our item room ends up being, you know, horse hockey. Which is a very polite way of saying dog shit. Horse, anytime, you know, a. You know, swear words are arbitrary, right? The only reason they're offensive, it's not because of some innate kind of, like, nastiness. Although a lot of swear words do kind of, you know, sound or feel like gunshots in your ears sometimes. That is super lucky for us. Uh, we don't want Cursed Skull. It's actually bad. And that's, well, at least it worked out the way that 
we wanted it to, and we've got peace of mind now. But if something has a rhymey, old-timey sounding name like horse hockey, can't be a swear word by definition. It's just too like old cockney, like children's entertainer soundy. So I would say that all of our, you know, best laid plans at the end of this floor didn't necessarily turn out fantastically for us, but that's okay too. We could find our secret room if we had another bomb, but we don't. I'm not picking up Wiggle Worm. I could have used Dead Sea Scrolls, but I also, you know, could have found it being Kamikaze, which would have been bad for my chances of future success and survival. So I'm very content with the situation we presented ourselves with. And even though we didn't get anything after our uh, deal with the Devil Room, I still think that we can all, you know, leave with a smile on our face uh, based on how that last floor went. At least I'm leaving with a smile on my face. There's probably some people out there that are like, that's bullshit. How'd you get these good items? I don't have control over it, man. So we'll pick up the compass. It was a bit of a weird pickup because it's going to give us a full reroll charge here. It's not a weird pickup item-wise. You know, compass is goddamn great. Um, but uh, we're going to have a full reroll. So I thought we'd maybe go elsewhere first, but we also don't have keys. And if we're going to talk about, you know, not being able to make the most of out, of out of our item rooms and shops and whatnot, you know, the keys and money situation is maybe a little bit more uh, of a pressing concern for right now. So I'm a little disappointed to find that we're not one-shotting these enemies. We are two-shotting them. You know, it's a start. But it could be better. And the Joker card is going to help us out a great deal. I'm not going to use it right here. What I will do is use it on this floor if we don't get to go uh, to the Devil Room naturally. If we make our own deal with the Devil Room, which we have a, a greatly lowered chance of doing on this floor as a result of the fact that we got one on the last floor, um, then I will be more than content to uh, save this card for a future floor, maybe for the mom floor, who knows, when we'd have more HP anyway. Might as well take Umbilical Cord. But also, it pays to use it because we could maybe pick up um, something that makes our lives easier, and the earlier you get something that makes your life easier, it's like a retirement fund, right? You started freaking investing for your retirement when you're eight years old, you need to put a lot less money into it in order to reach the same amount anyway. A lot less money periodically, I should say. All right. Let's back it up for a second here. Wait for this to go. We actually got to deal with the devil. I'm content with that. We're going to get a second level Meboy. We can hold on to our card for now. That's pretty good. And I'm glad I didn't use my deal with the devil card to fight Krampus. Krampus, as good as it is, you know, if we're going to talk about, you know, retirement plans, getting Krampus is like someone getting you a Christmas present that is like, wait, Slugger, we put like $100 in your trust fund. Make sure to thank us when you turn 18. It's a nice gift. That's something that a lot of people don't have. And they're, that person is looking out for you. But at the same time, you're like, that's good for me, but I want an Xbox. Obviously, I'm dating myself a little bit there. Dad, that's good, but I want a graphics card or a mechanical keyboard or something. I don't know. What are the what are the gamer kids into these days? Consoles aren't cool anymore, right? If consoles are cool, you can call me Miles Davis. I should really watch Billy Madison again before I start using that joke. Because I don't totally understand it. I'm happy to have 10 bombs. Very much doubt that we'll be able to get enough money to go to our shop, but that's secondary. Most important thing for me is just that, uh, nah, I still probably won't. I would if it was actually a floor later, because then I could uh, maybe fight greed, which would actually be good for me to get more money for the next floor. But I just wanted to get over 5 cents so that I could spawn an arcade on the next floor. And then get more money and never have to worry about our financial situation again, hopefully. That spirit heart is very nice. I am tempted. I mean, I guess there's a theoretical chance we just get like seven cents on the way here. There's also a chance we go in there and we could buy a key if, you know, our best laid plans don't necessarily work out. But then that's five cents down the drain and we won't be able to spawn an arcade on the next floor. So I'm going to say that I'm content with where I am right now. You may disagree with my decision here and that's okay. We're going to head down to the next floor. And uh, there is an arcade. Doesn't necessarily mean I made the right decision, but it does. Oh, that sucked. It does mean that my uh, methodology worked out. Please be uh, gluttony. This is super sleuth. I know that's not how that's pronounced. Sometimes I uh, change the vowels and words to give them a funnier innate sound, I suppose. I almost got hit like three times there. That would have been pretty disappointing. But Temperance is a great freaking card to show up. We also got two extra keys, which is a huge bonus. But this floor is extraordinarily seamy. Okay, this is actually starting to freak me out a little bit. My HP is terrible. But we can get to this boss trap room. 
I should be taking the Temperance card with me. Uh, but we can get to this boss trap room via the staggering amount of blood banks that we have at our disposal, which is awesome. We also now can definitely access shop and item room. Item room is Poison Touch. And it's okay. I think I'm going to reroll it because we're early enough. But before we reroll Poison Touch, because we're going to be able to get the money necessary to go to our... Uh, our shop for sure, if there's not greed in it, which there can't because we already fought a mini boss. Dominoes are all falling into place. We should see if this item more warrants a reroll, and it does. And it still does, but that means we'll probably end up being more inclined to take Poison Touch. But anyway, what we're gonna do next is uh, open up the path to this blood bank situation. Yeah. And we'll, we might get a reroll on the way, I'm not totally sure. We'll see. Bomb for a bomb. Uh, if you could throw in a bang the bang dicky, I might consider that. But for now, uh, I think I'm just going to play it cool. You know, better to wait on your health situation a lot to make sure that it resolves itself. If there is anything for itself to resolve. So we can get two plays like very comfortably out of each one of these. And that's as low as we're going to go for now. And in fact, I shouldn't have even gone that low. Yeah, I should not have gone that low. But we're going to take this pill. We don't know what it is. Tears up. That's great. Uh, that's, that's, that's real great. I'm sc a little scared. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick this up. Just in case there's an enemy that kills us in one hit on this room down here. Because I was worried about the room adjacent to the boss trap room. Alright. Turns out I probably would have been totally fine. And this just cost me a little bit of time backtracking. That's okay. You know, better safe than sorry. Very much better safe than sorry. In fact, let's just see if we can bomb our way through that. That might be easier. Hey, no? Alright. No matter what, we're probably going to want to reroll our Book of Revelations. Or... Yeah, we can't fight Pestilence on this floor anyway. We've already gotten a second level cube of meat. That's how we do it. We play the Blood Bank one more time. Each one of them, I guess. That gives us enough money to be able to buy the Book of Revelations. By buying Re Book of Revelations, we give ourselves a spirit heart. Then we reroll, and that's where the magic happens. Pick up Nun's Habit. Oh, infinite rerolls, don't mind if I do. Technology, Max's Head, Steven, Fat Odd Mushroom, Skinny Odd Mushroom, all the mushrooms. One game, triumph in the streets of Rome. So there's our spirit heart. This is how it happens. Portable slot was not really part of that plan. I don't need to go through it again, I'm guessing, but uh, yeah, that was not uh, on the to-do list. This is not how we do. That's not our secret room either. Could be uh, adjacent to the shop. It could be in a lot of places. This is a big floor. That's pretty much what I was hoping for there. HP has actually been a little bit of a sore spot for me. I mean, we haven't uh, had any over the course of the run so far, which is... A little surprising for the fourth floor, but you would expect that you'd get something like it on this floor. First floor, cube of meat. Third floor, cube of meat. Second floor, how can I complain about getting a pentagram, right? That's still very solid. I would rather a pentagram than an HP upgrade, even with our HP being pretty low. Golden keys. Would have been nice to have that earlier, but the floor also gave us like a bunch of keys, so I'm not sweating it too much. So before we get involved in all the shenanigans with gambling, which we are going to do here... Uh, I am going to explore the rest of the floor, just because I want to see how it all works out. I know uh, we have a Joker card. If I leave that behind, you can call me an idiot. You have my permission. Just once, you get one idiot call for that. No matter how stupid it may feel, I don't think it's worth more than one idiot call. Wouldn't it be great if that's how being a dick to people worked? And it, I'm not trying to protect myself here, but I'm saying, like, it, it requires the honor system on both parties. It requires you... To not call somebody a dick unless they said that you can. And it requires people... Not, not a dick, but an idiot. Uh, and it requires people to be honest enough to say, Hey, you know what? I was being an idiot. Get some catharsis out. Call me an idiot because I made your life a little bit more frustrated, right? I'm totally okay saying, Hey, call me an idiot. Because there are times when I'm an idiot. And I, I recognize them. Sometimes I fail to recognize them. But I, you know, I think you'd still get your fair share with me. I think there would be some people who would be like, I'm going to abuse the system and never give anybody permission. And those people are, they're going to ruin it for everybody. Those are the people that the dick system is needed for. Stop taking yourself so seriously. Alright. More money. We could buy a spirit heart with that, but let's just get this sorted out first. Um, this should be real easy. 
I almost took incredibly dumb damage there, but we do like maybe like 10% per hit, maybe like 12% per hit. Subtle distinction, but it changes the amount that we have to hit them by a lot. I can't believe that we got another deal with the devil here, by the way. I totally expected to have to use my Joker card here. So as fun as it might be to take uh, the Guppy's Paw, I think I'm just gonna say no to that. We'll reroll it. And hey, money equals power. Now there's a fun item. I'm very happy to have it. And we got Squeezy, right. I was like, where did uh, where did our item that we got there go? That's okay, we sorted it. So money equals power allows us to get a staggeringly increased amount of damage. We already have the uh, extra love from uh, from Lump of Coal. Now we just need to get ourselves as much money as is humanly possible. We're not going to get another reroll before the end of this floor, are we? No, no we are not. That means we are going to be stuck with uh, Poison Touch. And the coin purse. I guess I will take the coin purse. Uh, but we got a lot of money here that at least gives us a nice little starter house here for money equals power. So I'm excited about that. And Guppy's tail. Uh, that's going to hurt. It came very close to hurting. But did not. And uh, yeah, Guppy's tail. I mean, I would have maybe picked up one more of the Guppy items if this were the case. In fact, if we walk back into the room and... Well, that could be a good use of our Joker card, couldn't it? I could get Guppy's head. Huh... Huh. I'd love to get one reroll in the process first, but that's not going to be doable. Thank you for having enough money in here to make me feel not so bad about having wasted my earlier bombs. Is it worth it? I mean, it would be awesome to become Guppy. We've already scummed up the run a little bit, so I don't think anybody would be super disappointed with me. Do we know what any of these are? Like, one's tears up. That's glorious. Bombs are key. Doesn't bother me. Health down. It's fucking terrible. Telepills. Well, we were going to pick this up anyway, weren't we? Well, that, okay, that settles it. We're not going to use our Joker card to become Guppy because we need HP. We actually could conceivably find ourselves dying on this run. Which sucks, but hey, we'd be in this exact same position. We'd just be one third closer to becoming Guppy if I had done what I wanted to do. So I think I'm going to blow these guys up. Hopefully they give me red hearts. Cancer Trinket's pretty sweet. Uh, and it's a Tears upgrade, so... I'm not too salty about it either way, uh, but this is not really what I wanted, but that's okay. We'll survive, at least temporarily. Now, nine lives is our no-brainer pickup. Bit of a wild situation we find ourselves in here, though. Extremely glass cannony, and we've had a lot of good advantages that have worked out well for us, but uh, I'm not sure. I like to throw in the Vs instead of Ws sometimes. Just trick people up about my ethnicity, right? I could be from anywhere. Is Northern Lion European? No, man. Straight up, no. I don't even know my ancestry, to be honest with you. People ask me, hey, where are you from? And I'm like, Canada. But yeah, well, where are your ancestors from? I don't know, man. Is that com- I mean, I guess it's common knowledge, because everybody else I talk to is like, yeah, you know, I'm one-eighth Scottish, one-eighth Irish, blah, blah, blah. I have no freaking idea. I'm Canadian, my parents are Canadian, my grandparents are Canadian. I think maybe one great-grandparent came over from England in like the mid-1800s or something. What does that make me, fucking like one third, 382nd English? That's not really close enough to be a part of my uh, cultural identity, you know? For me, personally. Uh, so we're very close to death, and it's Necropolis. Necropolis don't F around, you know that. So I'm hoping that we can get to some things that improve ourselves as quickly as possible. The shop is a big part of that strategy. Even though I think there's a very realistic chance it has greed in it, we gotta try. It did not have greed in it. In fact, it had the map. We already have the compass. We picked up a spirit heart as well. And even though we were so close to death that I was worried that we were actually gonna lose the run, I'm gonna go to this curse room right away. And that gave us rage, which I think for free and for the amount of spirit arts we would lose trying to min-max it is a pretty good deal in my book. So I'd say this always looks like a penis to me. But anyway, we're um, in a pretty sweet position. If we could just snag a little bit more HP. And I know you can't have it all, but we need to have some. You know, nobody cares if you're the richest man in the world if you starve to death. It's a weird analogy that doesn't really make sense, but I think you might know where I'm going with that one. 
Maybe. Kate thought it was interesting, at least. Um, Alright, these guys should die in one hit. We're lucky that we made a decent amount of money, even though we did just spend some. We should be able to spawn an arcade on the next floor. That'll be fine. Bum friend, not today, my friend. Uh, we'll see you in just a moment, depending on how this goes down. So I am actually not going to pick up third level Meepoy. I think that's pretty much a no-brainer. At this point, like, picking up third level Meepoy has hurt me way, way, way more than it's helped me. For the most part, so I'm totally content with this. We did not get a deal with the devil. Oh, I almost walked right into it. What an idiot. Um, we did not get a deal with the devil. But I don't think I want one. So this is fine. We are going to go to our secret room because we want the money, basically. Yeah, okay. Weird situation. We're going to get another reroll or two as well. Presumably. Let's try not to lose our spirit heart in the process. Because it would be a shame to die on this floor after you kill the boss. I don't think it's going to happen, but you never know, you know? Oh, really? That hurts me deep, game. Get hit by one of the freaking red bomb flies right at the very end. Maybe we will leave this floor and just hope that the depths come up next. Like, look at this bullshit room. I don't want to get close to this shenanigan factory. Shenanigorium. Spirit heart? All right. Well, here's what I'm thinking. This is our secret room. Let's at least take Burnt Penny in instead of the Cancer Trinket. Ah, okay. It still might be worthwhile to do this. But I, I do wish I was kind of firing faster, although we're not going to have to hit Greed very much to make this work. Please drop Steam Sail, and then it gets re-rolled into the Ankh. I don't think it's how it's going to work out. Oh, but the money. The money is real. We only got two extra bombs out of that? Are you kidding me? And I have to be honest, these are my favorite kind of runs. We're, we're tight here. It means it's not just a foregone conclusion, which I think is great. It makes things much more exciting. We're going to come over to the right. Yum heart. Did I even pick up the shears? It's possible that I made a terrible mistake there. The shears are unlikely to come back, but that's okay. I think I'm going to continue exploring on this floor. I think that's the right idea. There's a huge caveat, though. And the caveat is don't get freaking hit. Because if you get hit, you're going to find yourself in a real hard time. And also, we might not find ourselves even able to go to our um, to our mob trap room. Because you need to have full health to get in there. So if we get hit twice or once by a big enemy, we might just be killed. That feels pretty good, though. We got money and bombs. I'm not in the market to trade, you know, a bomb for a penny straight up. At least not yet. But I appreciate it. And I'm stoked to uh, to be getting these damage bonuses. We've got a decent amount. That extra key helps. Down here. Um, this room shouldn't be too bad. We're two-shotting the angels. No, we're one-shotting them thanks to Rage. Right, forgot. In fact, we might half-shot these guys. Like, if we hit two with one bullet, it might be able to kill them thanks to Polyphemus. I'm not sure. But anyway, that room is easy, and we got a reroll. Oh, it's not over yet. <laughs> These guys are quick. That's okay. Got like my own nemesis here. That was really good. That felt fantastic. I'm not going to look for a second secret room. Just stay on the edge of your seat. It'll still be there. It's not a good thing for the structural integrity of the chair, but it don't matter. If we could just snag not lard. Because my speed's already not that good, but don't, don't give me lard. Give me, like, Super Bandage. I would accept the Rosary. I would accept Relic, Miter. I'm gonna have to accept whatever you give me, basically, but... Sure. I'll accept that. It's not great right now. But it, uh... It could be great in the future. And why not use the Joker on this floor? So many reasons. One being, I don't have HP to even take a deal with the Devil. So it'd have to be nine lives. Which could happen. Admittedly. You know, there's... Not a lot of things in Isaac are settled, uh, settled with certainty, if that makes sense. You know, things are subject to a bit of a dice roll, whether or not you have the D6. Careful here. If I hit them, like, laterally, that'll save me a little bit of trouble. Um, but yeah, I, I also thought, you know, we're probably just better off, maybe, having a floor to get used to our newfound lack of HP, rather than possibly trading it away. Celtic Cross is alright. 
And we can always use the Joker card later. It's not like we're going to be missing out too, too much by not using it right away. Probably. I could be wrong about that. We could even use it on this floor if we get some extra HP from maybe, you know, like, gluttonies here or something. Fight a boss that drops, like, five HP upgrade pills for us now that we've got the PhD. You never know. Well, that's not going to happen. We know that's not going to happen. So, with map and compass... Oh, thank you, Tinted Rock. Um, I threw it. I threw it away. Oh, God, I lived. Uh, with map and compass, what do I want from our shop? Oh, I would be so happy to see Mom's purse. Credit where credit is due. That would be one of the best items in the game for sure for us. And gluttony. If there's ever been a time... That was bad. <laughs> well, never mind. If there's ever been a time where you're going to give me... Uh, Less than three, and then he's like, Sorry, what'd you say? Too busy dying over here. Which I guess is my own fault. I should have waited to kill him until I at least pitched him my idea. It's like Hollywood 101. That's what happened to Shackleton ER. Well, can't access that. Not gonna be going to our curse room, because I think this spirit heart is pretty much integral for our survival, and if I end up losing it, I uh, could very well end up losing the game. This poop should explode when the room's done. Just my two cents. It would be nice to find a Temperance card. Even though we only have one HP, we have an awful lot of... Ooh, we have an awful lot of uh, red hearts on the ground. We can make decent use of it. And this run is going full glass cannon, man. We are not in uh, Kansas anymore. Could one of these golden chests just pay out with the thing that golden chests always pay out with? Freaking a single HP upgrade? Don't mind if I do. Uh, we got Nun's Habit. Nun's Habit is fantastic. Don't get me wrong. It's part of that prophecy that I called on earlier. We're still missing about 90% mm, of the health that that prophecy would have called on. But that's okay. Maybe we get the Ankh, and then we have enough to make this work. We just lost a bunch of damage by buying Nun's Habit. That's okay. Allow me to reposition myself in my chair. This is my attack stance. Golden Mongoose. You can't see me, but... Just trust me. Okay. Controlled... Explosion on that guy. Yep, okay. Saw my life flash before my eyes temporarily there. If we die on this run, at least know that I, I have given it the old college try. And again, I feel like there's a lot of runs where if I lose, you can say, Wow, Northern Lion, what were you doing? This isn't one of them. You know, when you get no HP and get one HP downgrade pill, it doesn't matter, you know, what kind of guns you're packing is if you can't, uh, you know, summon the strength to hold them. Oh, that's some sweet, sweet, juicy... Like 18 cents on one room action. Tinted Rock. Tinted Rock, I love you. I wouldn't normally say that. Normally I'd be like, ooh, a Tinted Rock. That's good. But here I'm like, this Tinted Rock could be the savior that we need this game. That's pretty solid. Let's see what our boss fight contains for us. So... Weirdly enough, I'm almost thinking, like, we should just use the Joker card on this floor because we're pretty likely to get a deal with the Devil on the next floor anyway. But that's going to rely on us getting some HP here, I guess. I don't really know, to be honest with you. Maybe it's just best to guarantee ourselves one deal with the Devil on the next floor 100% for sure because we didn't get HP here. Um, we have the Stars card. Well, we can use the Stars to maybe give, give ourselves a deal with the Devil here. And we got a health upgrade. Thank you. Thank you. It doesn't matter what trinket we have. So we're going to take the Polaroid, because it does matter, and it has to be the Polaroid. Um, but this is fine. This is good. We got an HP upgrade, which we needed, and an extra Spirit Heart, other consumables, yada yada. Could snag a deal with the Devil. I don't know what. It would have to be... It would have to give me a chance to become Guppy. I think. Yeah, I'll use two bombs. Or like a one hard deal for the Mark... I don't know, though. <laughs> We're getting into the danger zone where maybe I don't want to take deals with the devil anymore. I mean, we don't have a lot of HP as is. We did get a deal with the devil. We did. Sure. So we took nine lives. Then we're going to reroll this. I think I'd rather keep the spirit hearts and then have a really good chance of becoming Guppy on the next floor. The Guppy dream is uh, alive and well right now. And it would help us out a lot, you know, ability to fly. We'd have no freaking HP at all. But we've already got Guppy's tail. 
And now we've got nine lives, which was, I think, just a good pickup for us regardless, because there is a small chance that we could beat Isaac slash Blue Baby without getting hit at all. We're not firing that frequently, which is normally a bad thing, but it's okay for us in this situation. Um, we would be doing a ton of damage with each hit, and we'd have eight cracks at it, maybe, if we're being super optimistic. And we're only getting more powerful as time goes on, as you can see, but, well, we'll see. We have a curse room available here in case everything goes wrong. But for now, I'm just, you know, maintaining a zen-like level of focus, because I'm a little frightened. This is an important moment right here. So with the uh, triacnid here, that sucks. That's okay though. Hey, the Celtic Cross gave us the invincibility there. Weird. Um, we we're hoping to earn a deal with the devil, which we didn't get. Even though we have uh, money equals power, we have to try rerolling that, but we don't have to do it right now. So now we take this opportunity to use our Joker card. No, we don't. No, we don't. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Because we have the reroll ready. We get a one hard deal for the mark. Fuck it, dude. I'm in. Sign me up. Wherever this crazy train's going, I want to be on board. So our damage is going to be nuts now. I'm still not taking Pageant Boy just because seven cents from Pageant Boy, even with money equals power, is not worth that much. I think, at least. We're, I think we're in an HP debt now. It's so good. It's beautiful. But I'm not going to pick it up yet. Yeah, okay, I don't know. But that's okay. Thank you. I don't know if this is going to put us at an HP debt or what, but now we can fly, so I don't care. I'm so confused about what to feel right now. Should I be feeling bad? Should I be feeling good? It's kind of sad. Because when we got Polyphemus, I popped some wood. Waiting for some tinted rocks, maybe, there, but, uh, let's be honest. I have no idea. We're in no man's land. We're off the beaten track. I don't know. Are we in permanent spirit heart territory? Freaking beats me. We're in permanent do a crap load of damage and fly territory, but we don't really have that much HP to back it up. So if there's no rocks for us to hide over, puts us in a tight spot. We're uh, not going to do anything about that one right there. So, like, I don't know if on the next floor... I'll have red hearts, or I'll have spirit hearts, or what's going to be up with those shenanigans? It's a mixed up world, I'm just, uh, I'm along for the ride right now. Not even mad, because I don't know what to feel. Uh, so this one's interesting, no curse room, so our guppy dreams might have to go on hold for a little while. But we do have red hearts. Was the mark pick up the right idea? Damn, dude, I don't know. I feel like it might have been. I feel like we might have made a terrible mistake. Who knows? That's what makes this interesting. The library is gonna... I'm gonna try to turn it into a double item room. I don't want to hold out, you know, the most hope in the world that that's gonna work out, but I think we have enough time to do it. Question is largely... Oh, whether or not we have the uh, ability to survive until then, which I think is... Plausible. Book of Belial would be super good for us, but if we can reroll it, why not reroll it? Now we also have this boss trap room, and to me, the boss trap room is the most intriguing room of all. So here's something. I'm not going to go to that secret room because if it's like an onk, I don't want to pick it up until after I've gotten all of my deaths out on this floor. I want to squeeze my own sponge, for lack of a better word. Yeah, we're gonna pop that. Even though we're fighting mom's heart here. The golden chests are too valuable for us. Um yeah, I want to die as many times as we're going to die before I pick up the Ankh, because I don't want to waste the Ankh life, which is like 20 times more valuable than any random one-up life. Sweets. Now, obviously, I mean, you probably don't need me to tell you this, but every time I get hit, I'm going to die. It's a death sentence. We're basically playing Contra Isaac right now. Contra Isaac, also um, what I used to play in my Baroque... You know, old world music ensemble. Let's see what we got here. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna pick this up right away. And I thought about, you know, going back and getting the reroll done, but I figured let's not just because that takes some time. So I'm a little lazy. I don't think we'll end up losing out on a, a reroll because of it, but if we do, hey, 
You have a license to call me an idiot. I'm granting it to you as we speak. Easy fight. Easy skins. Easy life. Okay, so we're going to need at least a couple more rerolls here. Um, I know we could take Mom's Pearl and do some shenanigans with Mom's Pearl, but I don't really care right now. I care about not taking damage. Does getting Mama's Pearl help me take less damage? Well, I mean, sort of technically, but don't bring technicalities into this, all right? I got other fish to fry here. Book of Sin, Spirit Heart, please. Uh, okay, you know, I might be able to make use of a key. Let's make our way towards this boss room because if this uh, double item room works out for us quickly, which is unlikely but beautiful, I would uh, love to hightail it out of this floor before we have to go through every single room. Yep, bad damage, that's okay. Since this is a life that I would pres prefer to preserve, let's go back. We'll get our red hearts. We'll keep ourselves in good health here. This is fine with the Polaroid. This is actually better than having two hearts, I think. Can we beat Mom's heart with the setup that we've got? Absolutely. Not an issue whatsoever. Can we beat Isaac with the setup that we've got? With the added help of the Devil card, I honestly think we can. Devil card sounds like a Danko Jones song. We got the Devil card. Bow, now, bow, 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 bow. It helps me do the lover's walk. Does anyone? Apparently, Danko Jones is like a big Swedish audience. He's a Canadian dude, though. I think. Bombs are key. How many times are we gonna pop that? Basically, Danko Jones just sings a bunch of songs about his dick. Let me take that again, because I think uh, there's another word that works better there. Basically, Danko Jones just sings a bunch of songs about his cock. Yeah, for some reason that does work better. Miter, big plays, much appreciated. Um, let's, uh, woo, whoa, yes, scary. Again, this is a life that uh, can't afford to waste. Money is nice. We'll go back and get that red heart. The whole reason we're doing this is because we want to reroll a game, kid. Anyway. That miter pickup is pretty big. I'm surprised that the uh, library paid out as quickly as it did, but I'm very happy for it. It's only a half heart. I kind of feel like it didn't really matter that we picked it up, but that's okay. Well, we'll go to our last room before our boss room. Oh, you know what? We can get two hearts if we use the game kit effectively. This is where that whole min-max thing starts to come into play. That's the thing I hear the kids talking about all the time, the whole min-max thing. So we're not going to go to the last room before the boss. We're going to go to this room down here, then get the reroll from the last room before the boss. Okay, I uh, was mashing the space bar, and I almost walked into them without having actually uh, pressed it, apparently. Which I call horseshit on, but I was pretty sure that I was going to die there and feel like a big idiot. Certainly looked like that was the way that that was going to go down. Hey, that spirit heart feels pretty good. Thank you, game kid. Yeah, I think we can beat Isaac with this. Then we get to the chest, anything can happen. But certainly, this is a lot more interesting than the, uh, you know, mom's knife in the first item room would have had you believe, I think. I'm also glad for my own sake that turning down that mom's knife didn't end up being, like, the worst decision I've ever made in my life. Because this run has been very fun because of that. Not in spite of it, it's been very fun because of it. So I'm, I'm happy with my decisions. You could take me back in time, you know, knowing now... But knowing then, what I know now, I would do it. Unless I just came off a loss, in which case I'd be like, fuck yeah, mom's knife, thank you, troll engine. May I have another? Alright. It's good stuff. If you could just, uh, die, that would be sweet as well. I really don't want to generate more rerolls. I would love for this to just be over. If we can, you know, count the miter as the only haul we got here. It's pretty good. Ah, we're gonna take skeleton key. It's plausible that this will not end up doing anything good for us. We could get Pyro. Oh, I kind of like that idea. Yeah, so we basically got Pyro there. And we still have nine keys, which is enough, I would have to imagine. One shot in the turrets helps a lot. Certainly, it's going to make Mom's heart much easier. Don't forget that we have Mr. Mega, which we picked up uh, somewhat recently. This maybe has changed the landscape very drastically in our favor. I didn't even know the full extent of, you know, the, the benefits I was giving myself. I totally forgot that I had picked up Mr. Mega earlier. Oh, uh, there goes our spirit heart. That's okay. That is a little less okay, but at least we got our spirit heart back. There's like a red heart back here. 
Even if it's a half heart, it doesn't really matter. It's actually maybe better that way. All right, this is a <laughs> it's a very interesting situation. Let's put it that way. Yeah. All right. This is a run where if we went down a shoal, I would probably consider that it's just a one run. Where's the fun in that? Let's try to make this run work against Isaac. My goal is just don't die on Isaac. You can hemorrhage lives on the chest all you want. It'll give you more opportunities to use your rerolls. There's another library here, too. And a curse room, which, you know, that's... I would love to become Guppy. We're there. We're so close. But at the same time, if it'd kill me to become Guppy, I'd probably prefer not to. Can't believe I didn't take damage there. Somebody up there very much likes me. Oh, okay. That's fine. I did deserve it, I think. Item room contains two items I'm not a huge fan of. Fat odd mushroom. I'm a much bigger fan of that one. Chocolate milk. Ugh. Don't really care about the key or the penny. Okay. No, 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 no. You gotta get in the zone. Yeah, there we go. That's more along the lines of what I was hoping for there. The laser's gonna work. Thank you. Okay, this is a lot better. I don't think I'm gonna go to that curse room, by the way. I think it probably is like a foregone conclusion if you're watching closely right now. But yeah, I'm gonna skip that curse room for now. We're gonna go back, reroll this. Please just work for me, and then uh, we'll go. Fat Odd Mushroom, such a good pickup there. Halo flies. So big coming into our Isaac fight. Like, enormous. So here's what I'm thinking. Let's uh, we'll go to our... Oh, that hit the neutral fly. Shit, yeah. Well, what I was going to say is we'll go to our curse room after the Isaac fight if it makes sense. We don't have to commit to it right now. We can always go to it after. I am going to play this. I have to play it for a little while just to get a spirit heart. Please, God. More than one, even better. But at least one or like a good tarot card. Devil's a lot better for us. Um, just make sure we keep uh, a close eye on the items we actually want here. We can always put down a bomb and, you know, blow the rest of them away. I'll stay... Oh, man, this costs us damage. I'll go down to 60. Here, font. The sun. I'm very confused, but I think it might be the best idea to... When we get down to 70 cents, use the sun card, then take the devil into the boss fight. I know that sounds freaking ridiculous. That feels really good. There's 70 cents. Blow this shit up. We got another spirit heart out of it. Is it better to take the sun card with us? I think the devil card, it's one of those rare situations where the devil card is actually substantially better than the sun card. Would I rather have three HP or one and a half HP because one and a half will give me a, an extended period of permanent Polaroid invincibility and we have Poison Touch. This is one of those rare situations where we'll wait and see how it works out after we beat Isaac. It might be best to not take the Sun card at all. That doesn't happen very often. And if we could just get one invincibility from Celtic Cross, ooh. This could be real good. Yeah? Okay. Alright. Yeah, we got some money back out of that. That feels good. This is our Devil card. Because this is the most important life on the planet right now. Well, no, that's ridiculous. But in my planet. Which also doesn't make any sense. But hopefully you get where I'm coming from here. This life is important. Of all of the lives I possess in Isaac right now, this is the one that is, you know, paramount. Chief amongst them. You know, when I was a kid, when people would say chief amongst them, I thought that was just like a famous like Native American chief called amongst them. And then, uh, you know, I grew up and learned a little bit more of the English language and decided, oh wait, I'm an idiot. So this worked out really well. Like really, really well. So, uh, I'm going to go to this curse room, even though it'll cost me to get there. Should probably go back and pick up that sun card as like a just in case type deal too. Oh, sweet. We're not going to die on this room, either. That feels better than expected. We only lose one spirit heart, but we gained some flies. Wasn't worth it, but hey. We tried, right? 
So now if we take the Sun card in, we can get the value of the Sun card in addition to the Polaroid Invincibility that we were hoping for. Let's just make sure we got the right one here. Yeah, that's easy enough. And dare I say that even though we've had a lot of great advantages that have rolled in our favor here, this is also a run that I'm very proud of, the decisions that have been made. There go our flies, by the way, but um, I'm very, very proud of the way that the decisions have been made here. Even if we end up losing, which is possible, I think I'm content with my decisions on this run so far, and it's made for an exciting run. So, Temperance. How interesting. Uh, I think we put down Temperance, but if we blow it up, it doesn't give us an item pedestal, I think. No, it disappeared and turned into a penny. Uh, I think we'll take Quad Shot. It does lower our rate of fire drastically. No, maybe it raised it from Polyphemus, actually. Weird. We're going to reroll everything else, even though I kind of wanted the speed upgrade. And you know what? I'm not taking Guardian Angel. I thought about it. Well, I'm still kind of thinking about it, because it's there. Uh, but Guardian Angel's pretty darn good. Pretty guard good. That doesn't really make any sense. Uh, two of Hearts. Oh, baby. Maybe shouldn't have used that right away, but it's okay. Um... But I think I'd rather just have the reroll pedestal open for something else, you know? So this floor... I was gonna say this room. Yeah, this room, if it goes exactly the same way, would be sweet. Instead, it's gone drastically worse. Please give me a good tarot card. Yeah, okay. I appreciate that more than you can know. And there's even red hearts available for us here. So these all get rerolled. Skinny Odd Mushroom I'm very happy to pick up. Drastically increases our rate of fire, slightly lowers our damage, but rate of fire is uh, the name of the game right now, I think. Except it's going to make it a lot harder to beat Isaac, but hey! Or Blue Baby, you know the drill. Anytime I can get both of these guys caught in this uh, nightmare zone, that works fine by me. Oh, you're not dead. That's a surprise to me. You were very close. Did you not eat that bomb? Like, I thought I saw you open your mouth and swallow the bomb. You could just stop bouncing like that. I knew it. I knew it was going to happen that way. And same deal. Even though we have the miter, kill sloth last. The upside's too high, man. I think we've won this run. Very interesting one. Oh, man. Look at that damage. It's so good. Emperor. All right. Well, that's not really that useful for us. Instead, we will definitely take our sun card in. And we'll reroll. And we're rerolling... In the hopes, basically, of getting a... Uh, should have taken the half heart. Oh, well. Uh, you know what? Not oh, well. We'll get the half heart here. In the hopes of getting... A spacebar item basically as good as Mom's pad. But also another, like, half-decent item along with it. That didn't really work out. We're not going to use my best friend, because uh, I have this paranoia that my best friend is going to, like, blow up in our face and kill us. And that might have been fixed in Spider-Man, actually. I'm not totally sure. We got our sun card, we've got our permanent polaroid invincibility, we've got two trillion bombs. We should be more than good. We've got rage, we're building off these flies here. It's probably already built to max now. Yeah, we're gonna be good. This is a fun run. I had a good time with it, we had to work for it, but hey, problem solved. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the run. If you did, click the like button, it helps out a great deal, and of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.